In this video, we are going to learn how you can add type form entries as rows on an Excel spreadsheet. So the idea here is that you have created a form using your type form account. Now you want that whenever the form is filled, automatically using the details of the form submission, a new record should be added as a new row to your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. For that, you need to integrate your type form account with Microsoft Excel. So how you can set up this automation and how you can integrate both these software applications using Public Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here let us type pabblyly.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabbly. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabbly Connect. This is the landing page of Pabbly Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And you are going to get free tasks every month. If you are already a user of Pabbly Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabbly Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabbly Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as add type form entries as rows on an excel spreadsheet. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabbly Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever the form is submitted and you receive some entries in your type form account, automatically the same details should be added to your Excel spreadsheet also. So first we need to integrate type form with Pabbly Connect. So simply open this trigger window and here choose the application name as type form. Select the trigger event as new entry. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with type form. Now here it is asking for the access, so let's scroll down and click on accept over here to give away the access. Authorization successful and now the Typeform account is connected to Pabbly Connect just because I was already logged into my Typeform account. So make sure before creating a connection you are logged into your Typeform account. Okay. Now as we have created a connection between Typeform and Pabbly Connect, now here we can find all the forms names that we have created in our Typeform account. So here you can see uh, three form names are captured over here as new office policy feedback, customer feedback form and registration form for webinar. So here also you can see that in my type form account I have already created these three forms. Okay, the forms are same. So now I want that whenever the registration form for webinar is submitted, then the details should be captured in Pabbly Connect. So here I'll be selecting the specific form name. Okay, and now let's click on save and send test request. Do you wish to resend the request again? Now let's click on yes. And here we can see that it is waiting for the response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to fill up the registration form for the webinar in our type form account. So I'll just take you to the form. Here, let's open the form. And you can see we don't have any responses over here. No responses. Let's open the form. So in this particular form, I am collecting the details for the first name last name, email address, contact number, as well as the company name of the registrant. If you want to add some more fields or some more form details, you have to just click on this plus sign to add a new question as per your requirement. Okay. And once you're done creating this particular form, you have to just click on publish. Okay. Then move to share option. And here we'll get a form link. So you have to simply copy this link from here and I'll be opening it in a new tab so that we can fill in the details on the name of our registrant. So let's enter the details over here, the first name as demo, last name as name itself, email address as demo at the rate pablitudes.com. Let's enter the contact number over here and company name as pabli and click on submit. Thanks for completing this type form. So the form has been submitted. Now let's move back to pabli connect. And within some seconds, the response will be captured over here. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. And here in the response, we have got all the details related to the form and the submitter. Okay, here we can find the form name as registration form for webinar. And when we scroll down, we can find all other details. The first name of the candidate, the last name, his email address, his contact number and his company name. 
okay so now we want to send this particular data to our excel spreadsheet for that we need to integrate our microsoft excel account with public connect so simply open this action step and here choose the application name as microsoft excel select the action event as add row to worksheet click on connect click on add new connection and click on connect with microsoft excel Now it is asking, let this app access your info. So let's scroll down and click on yes to give away the access over here. Authorization successful. And now Microsoft Excel account is connected to Public Connect just because I was already logged into my Microsoft Excel account. So make sure before creating a connection, you're logged in. Now here we have to select the workbook. So as we have created a connection between Microsoft Excel and Public Connect, here we can find all the spreadsheet names or the workbooks name that we have created in our Microsoft Excel account. So I'll just take you to the spreadsheet. So here I have already created a spreadsheet named Webinar Registrants, uh, where I am collecting the details uh, for the uh, registrants, first name, last name, email address, phone number and the company name. And here the sheet name is sheet one itself. Okay. So now I want all the data to be added in this particular worksheet that is webinar registrant. So I have to select the same spreadsheet name or the workbook name as webinar registrants over here. Now here we have to select the worksheet. So as I have created a single worksheet in this particular spreadsheet, this uh, worksheet name is automatically captured. Okay. If you have created multiple worksheets from the drop down, you can select your specific worksheet name. Okay, now here it is asking for the first name, last name, email address and other details. So we have already got all these details from our trigger response over here. So we will be mapping these details now. Okay, let's scroll down for mapping. Just click it over here. Come to type from trigger response. And here let us map the first name. So the first name was demo. In the same way, we will be mapping the last name. So last name was name itself. Here we have to map the email address. Here we'll be mapping the phone number and here we'll be mapping the company name. So we have mapped all the details. Now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the responses received. It means the details are added to our Excel spreadsheet. Let's check it. We have to just refresh it. Okay, and here we can find the first name as demo, last name as name, email address, phone number and the company name. So all the details of the registrants are entered over here. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to the registration form once again. And here I'll be entering the details of some other participant or other registrant over here. Okay, now let's give the first name as dummy customer this time, last name as customer, email address as dummy at the rate pablitudes.com. Let's enter the contact number and company name as magnet brains this time. And let's click on submit. So thanks for uh, completing this type form. Form has been submitted. Now we are going to check whether the form details are added to our Excel spreadsheet or not. We have to just refresh our Excel spreadsheet. Okay, and here we can find first name as dummy, last name as customer, email address is phone number as well as the company name as Magnet Brains. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So whenever the type form will be submitted, automatically the details of the submission will be captured over here in this particular Excel spreadsheet. And in this way, our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect. And I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between type form and Public Connect so that whenever the form is submitted and the details of the uh, submission are captured, automatically all the details are captured in Public Connect. And then using those details of the form submission, we have created a new row or we have added the same details to our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Typeform and Microsoft Excel using Public Connect. Thank you.
So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.